Hello viewers, welcome to Creative School. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I will create this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you how to create this intro animation in PowerPoint. Before starting this tutorial, I want to explain the summary of this tutorial. I want to explain the procedure of how I will create this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. First, we need to take a hexagon shape and a diamond shape. Then, we need to take 8 oval shapes and determine their position at the corner of the hexagon shape. After doing this, we need to take 8 oval shapes again and determine their position over the outline of the diamond shape. Then, we need to apply the path animation to this oval shape. This oval shape will follow this path and this path will finish in this oval shape. Like this, we need to apply the path animation on all of this oval shape. Then we need to take a text and apply fade in animation. This is the method to create this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. Now we can start this tutorial. At first, we need to take a blank slide. Then take a text from water. I'm writing here creative school. You can write whatever you want. Change its font, burn script, same word. Font size will be 40. Change its alignment, align middle. Now we need to take a hexagon shape. Drag it by hold down the shift key. Change its fill color to no color. Select align center and align middle. I am changing its outline color to black. Then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D. Then go into the edit shape and change it to diamond shape. Change its alignment, align center and align middle. Then drag this right corner by hold down the Ctrl key. And drag this top corner too by hold down the Ctrl key. Then go into the selection pane and click on this eye to hide this text. After doing this, we need to take an oval shape and drag it in here. Change the shape outline to no color and shape fill is black. Click on this little arrow option and change its transparency 50%. Change its alignment, align middle. Drag it in here and duplicate it for more copy by pressing Ctrl plus D. Drag it to right side of the diamond shape. Then select all of these oval shapes and change their alignment. Select distribute horizontally. Drag them and determine their position over the outline of the diamond shape. Duplicate three more copy and drag them down and determine their position over the outline of the diamond shape too. After doing this, we need to duplicate 8 more oval shapes again. Drag them and determine their position over the outline of the hexagon shape. Now we need to apply the animation. Select this oval shape and apply the arcs animation. Then right click over this path and select edit points. Delete this point and this point. 
After doing this, select this oval shape and double click on the animation painter to copy the animation. Then paste the animation on all of the right oval shapes. Hide all of these red shapes, rest of this one. Now we need to edit the path of this animation. Right click and select edit points. Drag this endpoint of this animation in here. Keep this endpoint over this shape, which is over the outline of the diamond shape. Then drag this direction point in here to change the direction of this endpoint. Then drag this anchor point and adjust the direction. Try to keep the direction line in 180 degrees to make the path smooth. After finished the editing of this path, show the next oval shape and hide this oval shape. We need to follow the same workflow for this oval shape as we did for the previous shape. Not only for this shape, we have to follow the same workflow for the next 6 oval shapes too. Just path will be go in a different way. So I am speeding up this video a little bit. I will be back after finish the editing of the animation of all the oval shapes. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.
Okay, I have finished the editing of the animation. Now we need to show all of the animated oval shapes. Then select all of this animation and select start with previous. Increase their duration 4 seconds. Hide all of the black oval shapes. And show the text. Hide the outline of hexagon and the diamond shape. Now we have to select all of the animation by pressing Ctrl plus A and go into the effect option. Increase the duration of smooth end. Then apply the appear animation on all of this animation. Select a start with previous. Drag them in above. Then select all of this arcs animation by pressing Ctrl plus Shift key and increase their delay 0.5 seconds. After doing this, apply the grow or shrink animation. Drag them in above. Delay will be 0.5 second and duration will be 1 second. The oval shapes are going too big. So, go into the effect option and change their size 150% to 70%. Then apply again the grow or shrink animation. Drag them in above and select a start with previous. Delay will be 1.5 seconds. Then go into the effect option and change their size 150% to 130%. Then select these three animations by hold down the control key and go into the effect option and change their size 70% to 50% Then select these three animations too to change their size 130% to 170% Now select this text and apply fade in animation. Click on this arrow option to go into the effect option. Select animate text by word and delay 30 between words. Select a start with previous. Duration will be 1.5 seconds and delay will be 1.75 seconds. After doing this, press Ctrl plus A to select all of the elements and deselect this by hold down the Ctrl key. Then go into the format object and change the transparency to 0%. Color will be black. Finally, we have finished creating this flying dots animation in PowerPoint. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You will get the download link of this template in the description box. 
subscribe our channel to get our latest video first thanks for watching